is your favorite girl chill from the s to the e to the u to the n period get ready for it yeah this is it i miss having a diary so i'm someone that likes to write a lot i sometimes write my thoughts my feelings in a note um i mean physically handwritten not just phone notes i started using phone notes let's say some three four years ago but i mean prior before that time i love to write in a diary in fact i used to keep record of my diary notes in secondary school i used to usually buy like a notepad that has padlock and just keep it flashy he has padlock he has all these feathers and all of that so when i was in the uni i'm one of the most friendly persons that i know i'm always eager to practice hospitality i'm open-minded to people i have i'm very welcoming um in fact i didn't really have um a very big space like my peer when i was in school like apartments but the little that i had i always stretch arms to helping people and be accommodative to people but unfortunately i learned not having a diary the hard way um i have this pretty diary that whenever i think about it hurts me so badly because i had to burn it and all of that so like i said people sometimes caught with me people come visiting people spend nights at my house when i was in the uni and because i'm pretty accommodating so one time like that um i was a churchy girl when i was in the uni also i'm very close to my pastor i'm very close to the altar i'm up and doing in the church and all of those amazing stuff um so i think someone that i had accommodated or that was staying in my place um read my diary okay first off my diary is not something that i just keep in any kind of place is properly kept and you have to like look for it to find it because i believe that i, I was the only one who knows where my diary was so i'm sure the person must have looked for it in my room and say ah, what's inside this pink pink um notes that she was always keeping somewhere here so the person took the padlock and read a part of it maybe everything i don't know and the next day was like a saturday my pastor invited me over and asked me a few questions that i wasn't very comfortable with and i was surprised that we how the questions were surprising you get so he mentioned that someone saw my diary and i was very heartbroken i was pretty disappointed in myself I was disappointed i didn't want to know who the person was because i'm sure i was going to eat the person for the rest of my life <laughs> so i mean i tried asking who the person was but you know now he wasn't ready to mention who the person was but all he cared about was that he wanted to be a part of my life in that aspect he wanted to know what i was going through if what the person saw in my diary was true how am i coping how am i handling myself am i hurt with that thing i'm like okay this is not something that i am comfortable talking about and that's why it's in my diary it's supposed to be private sir and i mean we spoke to an extent he prayed for me and that was the end of it but since that happened like when i was in 200 level i think 200 level 300 level yeah that was like sometimes 2015 or care about and since then i got back to the house that day i was bitter i really i cried a lot because i genuinely love that diary i've been keeping it from way back i took matches and i burned it to ashes right in front of me and ever since then i'd stopped having a diary so what i now do is if i feel like i want to keep the memory of a thing just write it in my notes but not like write full essay like i used to so yeah <laughs> that's like this this video um this video came to mind when i was really thinking that 
why do I stop having my diary? And the reason came back to my heart. I mean, I still feel pain, but I, I think I've forgiven the person. I'm sure I had forgiven the person. But you know, there are just some things that you don't ever forget. Even if you eat from them, you don't ever come back okay from them. Because having diary is something that me and my dad share in common. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story time. And um I'm not going to completely say this that that incident is like the first time my my trust was completely broken but it just told me that even if you have people's good at heart they are still looking for how they can bring you down no matter what and that also helped me to be very skeptical about people i i don't just loosen up or open up to people like that anymore and i'm somewhat there's this there's this, there's this bridge around me anyways as promised that i'm going to be dropping at least story time video vlog or whatever on my youtube channel weekly so this is this week's story time i hope you really enjoy this video if you do give it a thumbs up if there is a time in your life that you felt disappointed or you found your trust being broken by someone that you trust drop it in the comments below share with us let's rub minds <laughs> let's know how someone had hurt you and how did you heal from it um does it still affect you do you still feel pain till now let's know in the comment section and see you guys on the next one bye <laughs>